G'day. Today in the studio we have the new Mickey Thompson Baja Boss AT. So this is all terrain, not the MT that we had in last year and we put on Chris's car, which you can find in this card up here with the, with the long-term review. This is the all terrain. And because it's in the Baja Boss family from Mickey Thompson, you can guess that it's gonna be pretty aggressive, which it is. It's probably one of the most aggressive all terrain tires we have here. So it's still classed as an all terrain, but it has similar characteristics to a mud terrain in that it's got uh, wider spaced tread blocks for flinging out mud and that sort of thing. So you're gonna really maximize your off-road off -road traction, but they're also saying that it's more comfortable and better on the road than the Mickey Thompson Baja ATZ P3, which is what it's replacing. Now, I remember using the P3, the, sorry, the ATZ back in at least 2005, maybe six. Um, so that tire is definitely, you know, at the end of its run, this is what's replacing it. So it's a, and it's a pretty exciting replacement. So let's take a look at the tread pattern. Um, and you can, first thing you can see, they are fairly heavy by the way. So, and they're actually slightly heavier than the ATZ that they're actually replacing. So in the 265, 65, 17, it's actually 25.8 kilos, which is getting up there, but actually not too bad. So tread pattern, you can see straight away how wide some of these shoulder block grooves are. Um, I mean, you can actually use a nose test you can't quite fit a nose in that in the biggest one. These tyres actually come with a variable tread depth as well. So that's actually the depth in here. Uh, so the nose depth, as we like to call it here in uh, tyre review. Um, so it's actually between 12.7 and 14.5 mil of tread depth, depending on which tyre you choose. These ones are actually the 14.5 mil depth. So that's, these are 295, 70, 17 tyres in the LT format. But you can also see that there are different spacings in here as well. So these are actually asymmetrical tread blocks. Um, so you'll see that there's different groupings that repeat throughout the tyre, which means that it's going to be a quieter tyre. It also uh, has a specific inside and outside. This is the outside, this is the inside. And so when you mount it, you have to make sure that the guys are careful of mounting that, although most tyre shop guys worth their salt will know that. So theoretically, that's going to make it quieter on the road. Um, and it actually seems like Mickey Thompson have chucked a bunch of different technology at this tyre. So I'm really excited to get on my car for a long-term test. And then also you've got this tighter knit set of blocks here in the center, which should give you some of that all terrain feel in that it's going to be longer wearing on the road and um, more traction in the wet, that sort of thing. So again, something to look out for in the long-term test. They are wider spaced than some of the other aggressive all terrains that we have over there. So again, it'll be interesting to see how this compares in day-to-day -day driving. So you can also, if you look in more closely, you can actually see we have um, the stone ejectors on the side here. And also we've got some lower, more sort of, you know, pyramid-y, triangle -y sort of stone ejectors here in the sides, sorry, in between the shoulder blocks. And also deeper into the grooves of the center blocks, we've got some of those as well, but they're a lot smaller, probably because you're less likely to get as much crud caught in this sort of center blocks as you are in the shoulder blocks. Going around to the side wall, they say that they have these super aggressive side widers in the, in the materials. And yes, they are. I can confirm to everyone that they are actually super aggressive. I mean, it's about a nail depth there on an average six, six foot person. Um, and they are more aggressive than most of the other extreme all terrains we've got and probably more aggressive than some mud terrains out there. So if you're stuck in a ditch, these will help you get out, but they'll also look fabulous when you're at the shopping mall. They actually have a fairly decent rim protector as well. So it's, it's reasonable, it's not fat like some of the other ones we've seen, but if you're worried about curving your rims on your 42 inch tires, then um, you're probably okay. They also say that the sidewall has a super thick third ply. So that's actually got 50% more material in there, 50% more denier and also their trademark turn on the third ply. So that means you're gonna actually have far more resistance to staking and flats caused by punctures on the side. And they are three ply sidewalls as well. Now these tires actually come in an LT and SUV formats and they're, they're actually slightly different in terms of their format. This is the LT, um, but I believe that the SUV is actually, uh, it's a light, slightly lighter build. I mean, obviously the LT is gonna be, it's a light truck grade. 
Um, so depending on your purchase, keep an eye out for that. Um, I believe that the SUV is actually two ply sidewall. The LT is three ply sidewall. So again, keep an eye out for that when you're buying your tires as to which version you want. Uh, so make sure you identify that with the tire shop person. The key difference between the two in this is that the SUV version doesn't actually have that third ply, the XD ply that actually has slightly on an angle and has all the extra denier cords. Um, so they will be more comfortable on the road, um, but they won't be as durable off the road. So you're less likely to get staking and that sort of thing if, you're, if you have the LT version that has the extra ply, um, whereas the SUV version will be more comfortable and, and you know, when you're going down to the mall and you're probably not likely to actually get staked tires. And the other cool thing about these is that in all the sizes less than 315, they're actually three peak mountain snowflake rated. Uh, and that means that they're actually going to be better in the snow than something that's not rated. And, and that's actually a, a good gauge for tires that are going to be better in the snow. So if you're in the US and you're not necessarily looking for snow tires, but you're looking for all season tires that can actually handle a bit of snow, then these would be a good option. In terms of the sidewall riding, there is no white sidewall riding, uh, but it does have this sort of raised Mickey Thompson Baja Boss AT. So for those that want to be fancy, you could probably get that painted and it'll look tip top, but it depends on how you swing. So these tires are available in 235, 75, R15, all the way up to 37 by 13 and a half by R24. So that's pretty big. And so they probably won't carry R24s in stock here in Australia, but if you're actually wanting to order, order an R24, they can get them in for you. So that's Mickey Thompson Baja Boss. I'm pretty excited to get these onto my car for a long-term test. So that's where we run it for 10,000 Ks. And um, I'll give you my thoughts and opinions at the other end of that as to how I thought the tire was. And so um, that's for everyday conditions like driving on dry, driving in the wet. Um, we do the, the roundabout test to see if the bum swings out or if the, we lose the nose on a, on a wet roundabout, but also off-road as well. Um, Biggie Tom's really pushed the, the mud angle of these tyres, that they're really good in the mud and they say that they're better in the mud than some of the other aggressive all-terrains, like by a significant amount. So we'll actually have to get these properly dirty, um, and so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, that's the Mickey Thompson Baja Boss. Watch out for the long-term review. Mm -hmm.